Hi, Pet the Podcast Editor here. What does it take to start and run a successful podcast? Well, today, Dan and Lloyd discuss how they built their podcast and share tips for getting started and growing over time. The value that Dan and I would get for our for our business and for us as people from like one episode of the podcast may be equal to the value we would get from shitloads of other TikTok 30, videos. Or... 30 TikTok mm. videos. If you think because... of like the time consumed. Yeah. We'll also explore some of the ways a podcast might be a better option for growing an audience or a business than other platforms. There's basically, there's kind of four steps that I think can get you to to actually record something and it be on a good path to mm. having a good podcast in the future. Right, let's get stuck in. This is episode 82 of the Business Anchors podcast. We're just a couple of business anchors. Welcome to the Business Anchors podcast. This jingle is slightly too long. This jingle is slightly too long. Why is podcasting a game-changing media platform that anchors shouldn't ignore? Good question. Thank you. I'd say the main the main thing I think about podcasting is it's one of, if not the only media platform you can consume effectively whilst doing other stuff, like audio in general. Mm. And I think from an early stage, we we both were both quite big audiobook listeners to us. Audiobook listeners. Audiobook listeners. Uh, yeah. I don't do that so much anymore. I'm more of a podcast guy. But we both used to do that whilst doing crappy chores mm-hmm. and like cleaning. And th- from that point, I really saw the value in, wow, we can produce content that people can listen to when they're doing boring stuff like driving. And that, that's one of the main ones. The second one, I think we found it's a longer form type of content that you can build deeper relationships with your audience or listeners in this case, you know, rather than getting a three second video of you on Facebook, this is a half an hour to 45 minute piece of content where you, the listeners are listening to us communicate what we want to communicate to you. Uh, And finally, I think podcasting can be super, a super efficient way of producing content. Mm. Yes, we've got a bigger setup here, but we could just have uh, like an audio recorder two mics and just do that which could be done very efficiently um so they're my three reasons why i think it's so powerful yeah i think that your second point about the kind of deeper relationships from podcasting rather than like posting a three second video is a massive one i think it's not unique to podcasting but i guess it's unique to long form content so you could create a a 30 minute youtube video or you know a video on various platforms um but podcasting is something obviously audio and video you can do long form and it's such a difference i think tiktok's obviously blowing up uh and has been for the last couple of years and um and i think there's real value there but it's i think you know the value that perhaps we dan and i would get for our for our business and for us as people um from like one episode of the podcast may be equal to the value we would get from shitloads of other TikTok 30 videos or... 30 tiktok mm. videos if you think because... of like the time consumed yeah. the minutes of our content consumed yeah. with the podcast exactly and anything you're putting out to the world you're communicating stuff um and really educating them about you and what you believe mm. and the knowledge you have and what you do and um that's why you know someone would have to follow you on tiktok for six months to consume enough to go oh okay there's kind of themes here oh these guys uh, are honest people mm. and they want they know to, what they're doing they know what they're doing and they they have a good knowledge base on marketing and social media whereas you can get that from uh, you know you you business anchors obviously think we're brilliant <laughs> but we we've probably communicated all of those things to you in one episode previously so we we've kind of got you in and got you to listen somehow thank you very much you and communicated all that uh with one piece of content which um that deeper relationship offers you more opportunities basically and as the podcast has been so valuable to our business in this episode i i want us to break down a bit of the backstory as to why we started the podcast but then also share some like how to stuff i think you've got a few more how to so yeah. that people are listening like i actually might consider starting a podcast the actual practical yeah. steps that yeah i think take. towards the end i'll go through there's basically there's kind of four steps that i think can get you to to actually record something and it be on a good path to mm. having a good podcast in the future 
So quick backstory as to how this all came about. In February 2020, we started the podcast as a bit of an experiment, really. Do you know when we first recorded the podcast? When? Didn't, didn't, we didn't know COVID existed. It was, oh, because it was before it was March. Before, yeah. It yeah. was a couple of months before. I think we recorded it in January. Yeah, anyway, we yeah. recorded it. Um, and I think for us, we always try to focus at least 20% of our marketing efforts on something new. Rather than just knowing, like for us, LinkedIn works really well. We're always trying different things. And for that year, that test and experiment was the podcast. And I don't know about you, Lloyd, but I saw a bit of a gap in the market because there was lots of marketing podcasts out there. And they all, like all of the ones in the marketing charts were very practical. How to grow a YouTube following. How to build a strategy for, you know, Twitter. Step one, do, do this. this. Step two, do, do that. This. Step three, this is all very useful, so we're not taking the piss, but yeah. that's what... Which, which is good, um, but I, I listened to a lot of them and I didn't find them very interesting to listen to mm. in the sense of like, the kind of thing I'd want to listen to at the weekend. It's more, more an effort because you're like, oh, I should learn about this, so I'm going to make myself listen. Yeah, mm. whereas we try and make... We, we thought it could be an opportunity for us to provide value through our own experiences of growing yeah. a business, of running marketing campaigns for some of the biggest brands in the world. All of that insight and all the things we're learning and the mistakes we're making, share that with you listeners, whilst also taking the piss of it because we're brothers yeah. and we like to poke fun at each we other. We are such a laugh, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, God, we have such a laugh, don't we, business anchors listeners? We do. <laughs> oh. so, so that was the start of the podcast. And I've actually got some data to share with you, some insights. Don't tell anyone this stuff because we don't want everyone knowing. So month one of the podcast, how many downloads do you think we had, Lloyd, in February 2020? Oh, I'm just trying to think back. In in that, it wouldn't have been many in month one. What, like 250? So we had 757, right. which I think was was really quite good. Yeah. And there's a point I'm sharing these numbers, which I'll... Yeah, okay. Um, so month one, we had 257 downloads. Now that, across the next few months, that number fluctuated, went yeah. up and down. Yeah. And in October 2020, um, it went down to 481 downloads. Ooh, and I remember Lloyd was, you know, cracking the whip and saying to me, Dan, this bloody podcast isn't working we're putting lots of resource into it why are we not doing getting you know hundreds of thousands of listeners but in uh february 2021 which is a year later the numbers continue to fluctuate mm -hmm. up and down and we were still learning mm -hmm. in february 2021 um we a year ago a year ago mm. we got a call from a marketing manager from a brand who said um who said i want to speak to you about doing a marketing campaign ended up pitching this quite significant campaign and when i got on the uh on, in the pitch the mark the managing director was there and he instantly said oh has lloyd managed to find all his bitcoin yet because he was an avid podcast listener we did an episode on that so uh we ended up winning that contract and that was the first real uh return on investment we got from um from from the podcast and since then we've continued to get new business referencing this podcast so I, I guess the, the reason I wanted to share the numbers was you don't have to have hundreds of thousands of downloads and listeners to have a successful podcast. Yeah. We, we've obviously, we've increased our downloads significantly now. I think we've had over 25,000 downloads now. But um, yeah, don't be put off if you're own Because if you think 10 people listening to you for half an hour is better than 100 people seeing a three second video of you, like we mentioned. Yeah. And now we've continued to upgrade this production because we know it's adding value to our business. Yeah. I think that's really interesting about the numbers. Like if you think we're all fighting for people's attention and the reality is just, just one of those downloads, one of those listeners, we are potentially getting for our podcast, like half an hour of their attention. Mm. Um, so like you're saying, actually, even though on LinkedIn, we might be reaching a hundred, a hundred, hundreds of thousands mm. of people each week and the podcast could be under a thousand mm. actually those podcast listeners we're we're reaching people on a much deeper level and those um those kind of relationships are much stronger and could be worth a lot more yeah so on a more practical front i've got some things that i want to share in terms of what we've learned from the podcast but to get into more of the practical how-to stuff yeah if someone's if someone's listening and thinking okay i trust what the nolton brothers are saying yeah 
I want to start a podcast or try and test it. What kind of practical steps okay. can they take? Well done. Let's go into every other marketing podcast. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Um, I do actually have four steps. Uh, so <laughs> We just shatter the yeah. marketing podcasts that do this. But. So I think big mistake people make when they start podcasts is that almost everyone goes, I don't really know what we're going to talk about. I mean, we're just going to, we're going to record one and just see, oh, I think it'll be fun. We'll, just, we'll see, we'll see what we talk about. Oh, I've listened to those episodes. Um, every, every, I, th- I think most podcasts start like that. Yeah. And I, you know, <laughs> no, no offense to people. <laughs> We were, although we thought we were structured and organised, there was part of that with our yeah. first episodes. <laughs> Let's just have a chat. Um, but I, I think step one: try and be clear on why you're doing this and who you want to listen, uh, because that will skip the whole process of the first twenty episodes of you going. <laughs> I'm just having a chat, <laughs> and y- you might enjoy that. So that may be good for the enjoyment and stuff. But if you know, if you're starting a podcast because you want to grow your business, or you're starting a podcast because you've got a YouTube channel mm. and you want to drive more people to that YouTube channel. You need to work out why you're doing it and who you want to listen. So are you saying the, the Business Anchors podcast is very structured and strategically designed to ultimately get us business for our agency rather than just off-the-cuff entertainment? Yes. Exactly. Interesting. I know, it's interesting because you listen to it and think, <laughs> this is so entertaining. Yeah. Their main goal must be entertainment. <laughs> um, but actually, Achieving it. <laughs> actually, it's not. But um, no, That's a really good point. Yeah, so I, I think, think as a starting point, I think that's working out why am I doing this? Who do I want to listen? Mm. And that will help you skip All past, the crap. Um, a load of crap that you'd have to get over. Um, the second part, once you've worked that out, is actually take action and record something. So me saying, oh, you need to know, be clear on why you're doing this and who you want to listen. I'm not saying everything has to be perfect for you to start because that often stops people Mm. making, uh, stops people making, (laughs) stops people starting. Um, Can I add one tip in? Yeah. I think something that is super useful at these early stages in your process as well is actually listen to podcasts. Mm Mm-hmm. Because I think we got a lot of insight into what we thought worked well and didn't by actually yeah. listening to podcasts to help shape what you're going to yeah. talk about. Yeah, great. So take action, record a podcast, knowing that it won't be the best podcast mm. ever and it will It'll improve be terrible. over time. And then you need to repeat that. But um, And I'll go into, by the way, in a minute, I'll tell you a tool you can use to upload. Because oh, that technical stuff where you're like, okay, well, I know how to rec- I've got a microphone, but it's, then what do I do? It's not actually as difficult no, as everyone not. makes out, is it? No. It's uploaded it to one place and yeah. it puts it all on Apple and Spotify. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so you, you're recording a podcast. Great. Then the third, there's kind of four sections to this third point. Step three, A, <laughs> um, to think about with every episode that I think from what we've learned will really help. So first thing, why will my people click this? And by my people, I mean, you've decided that you want this type of person mm. to listen. So each episode, it's going to have a title. Before people hear anything, it's going to have a kind of topic of discussion or several and a title. So thinking, why will people click on this? What a title listen? like, how to start a podcast your audience will love. Something yeah, like that. something like that. Okay. Just something like that as yeah. an example. Um, then, uh, secondly, why will people keep listening? So don't, having a clickbaity title and then not offering the value or the entertainment or the inspiration or whatever it is that you're giving isn't good enough because you'll never get any mm. listeners that return. They'll just go, oh, it's a clickbaity title yeah. and I've got to get off. So, thinking about right what am i what are we actually going to be discussing or what am i talking about that is going to keep people listening and keep people mm. engaged third point what can we discuss that would help promote this and reaching new people so we talk about clips that we're going to break up from the business anchors podcast of you know some of the best ones we've had is me discussing about how i lost 12 million pounds in bitcoin we knew that putting that on social media saying lloyd's lost 12 million pounds of million. bitcoin 4 million um was Oh, well, it got up to 12 on the price. Yeah, increase. I know, but the title um, at the time was 4 million. 4 million, sorry. We knew that putting that as a clip and uh, writing that on social media Put on various platforms in. is going to get people to listen. So kind of thinking, right, we're talking about cryptocurrency or we're talking about money. What can be the thing that's going to mm. grab people's attention and get them in? The fourth point. Um, is this 4D? Oh, no, so this three, three, 3D. 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 Yeah. That's why it feels so real. <laughs> oh, <God>. um, <laughs> dad joke. Um, 
what can we discuss that will encourage my listeners to take the action we want them to? So remember at the start, I said, be clear why you're doing this and who you want to listen. So we talk about topics that, um, not all the time, but sometimes we talk about topics that allow us to demonstrate the skills we have within our business or our mm. knowledge that may help others um, that we can a really good benefit point. from the business. And although it's great, like our previous podcast was about, um, if you haven't listened to it, about healthy habits. And I think that was a great episode, really positive. That's one we didn't actually communicate much about um, how the good our business is. Amazing marketing campaigns we run. The world. Yeah, yeah. Um, whereas this one... Dan's just mentioned all these marketing campaigns. But so it doesn't have to be, you don't want it to be just a sales thing of my business is great because yeah. no one will give a no. shit. But, but being able to to uh, smoothly fit in those conversations, yeah. like we've broke, we've done episodes where we break down why, how, how campaigns we've done have been yeah. successful to give that value yeah. element rather than just become a customer of ours. Yeah. Or if your goal is to um, build your YouTube channel or if your goal is to sell your book, your book, for example, there'll be topics in that book and you'll kind of, you can reference that in some of your conversations. And after six months time of someone listening and you referencing that book 12 times mm. for a couple of minutes, it builds that and helps you achieve that goal. Mm. And I, that's a lot of, people miss that kind of link to what they're actually trying, trying to achieve. I think one of the biggest mistakes people make not just podcasts, but po content in general is just going too far on the entertainment fun side. Mm. I'm doing fun videos. I'm going to do TikTok trends, doing it's dances. It's really tempting. The it most fun thing is to do that. And get not... more views, get more engagement, but yeah. it doesn't ever shoehorn into how you can actually help them in their business. That's the real skill. And, and part of how we help our clients within our marketing agency is we are known as a creative marketing agency and we do creative weird and wacky stuff but the real skill and our value is um how within that creative content do we communicate those things that are really important for your business and make them take action that's the key this is so meta because you've just done what we've said we need to, you need to do in a podcast yes oh meta God. It's, it's like inception <laughs> um, and finally i just want to say I, I said if you're thinking right i'm going to start a podcast how can we make it easy you can you can google how to find a microphone you need and stuff like that. But we use Buzzsprout, right? But to basically, most people are like, oh, how do I get it on Spotify mm. and Apple Podcasts and stuff? So with Buzz, Buzzsprout, there will be other services, but we upload it to there. We started on the free version, which allows you to upload two hours of content per month. So you don't even have to pay anything to do this. Mm. Um, and with a few clicks, um, you upload it and within sort of 24 hours, your episode will be on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, all those other places. Um, so it's it's simple and free to do that, which mm. people don't realize. We now pay, because uh, the amount we post for a weekly podcast, uh, I think we pay $18 much, yeah. a month, which allows us to post six hours of content. Mm. So the cost isn't high. The time and effort isn't high. It's, you know, mm. it will, the first time you're doing it, you'll have to work out how to do it. But there's there's not as much of a barrier to entry as you as you would think from the outside yeah. and chartable is another really good tool that we use which helps you see it's like more in-depth analytics for your episodes helps you understand how they're performing compared to other episodes you've done and also they've got these really cool things that i've spoken about before called smart links where you can create one link that easily takes people to their favorite podcasting platform when they click it either apple yeah. spotify google Podcasts. so just to be stuff. clear for instance i listen on spotify and i'm on an android phone if i click that link that's where it will take me yeah if dan's got an apple phone it will take him to mm. you apple can set Podcasts. rules basically for different devices where it will take them to so yeah, that's that was really useful. I think some good practical steps there. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of things that I've kind of I think we've learnt from doing podcasting for how, how many is it two years now? Uh, well, no, just over what? Feb twenty twenty. No, it must be. Oh yeah. shit! It's two years. <laughs> Bloody hell. We're on episode eighty, Lloyd. Yeah. This well, this is what episode, we gonna no, do for episode eighty two. So. What we can do for a hundred. We should do. We need oh, to start thinking about. Do you that. know what we should do? We should do a live in-person business anchors podcast episode. in the metaverse. <laughs> no, in real oh, life. Have we bought enough more. We can. Choose. Okay. So sorry. So uh, in terms of things that we've learned, one of the main things I think is if you're starting a podcast, 
Focus more on how good the podcast is rather than the download numbers it gets. A mistake we made early on, yes, download numbers are important and to continue, you want to grow the podcast, more people listen to it. But if you just heavily focus on that, you can end up just making episodes that you think or know will get downloads rather than are actually going to help your overall objective for us driving business for our agency. We could get more downloads just talking about trending stuff. Oh, you just burped again, didn't you? <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I don't know why. I think it's you did it it's in last chair time. or... <laughs> don't blame the fucking I, chair i'm really sorry i'm gonna get such a bad reputation i never anyway, recover from this somebody commented last time you did this saying we don't i don't know why there's such a stigma around this it's just a bodily function oh thank you I've so just, that's the first i've just wet myself <laughs> <laughs> don't don't focus on the download numbers focus on making it a good episode for people to listen to another thing we've learned or i think we've learned from this is done is better than perfect mm -hmm. for example over the last two years, we've we've improved the podcast set and how this looks and sounds. And I think sometimes we've uh, waited for it to be absolutely perfect before doing something and it's taken months and then we never do it. Whereas even with this newest set, we're doing it in stages. Mm. So it started a few weeks ago uh, and it wasn't perfect. Yeah. And now we've got some really cool new stuff. Yeah. Tay's worked really hard on making the set really good. We've got pictures on the wall. We've got other yeah. props here. And we're going to... we aka Tay from the team is going to continue to make this better and better because was, done is better than yeah, perfect i was going to say shout out to tay and with the support of pat on sound i think uh really been improving the business angers podcast and like dan said it's been such a positive thing for us to go oh we're going to improve this over time and taylor's been taking like steps each episode improving the set improving the sound and uh <coughs> gosh Oh, my body is not functioning <laughs> oh well today. God. Sorry. And um, yeah, we, we wouldn't have even gone live with this set and improved sound at all because it's still not completely perfect. Yeah. Um, whereas we're now producing better and better stuff every mm. single week. I think that's really important. Not to, yeah. not to just not do anything because it's not perfect. Definitely. I think and, uh, the final thing I think which will hopefully be valuable is promoting the podcast is just as if not more important than producing it because you could have a brilliant podcast but if you don't do promote it to a number of channels then no one's gonna listen to it have you heard that the, the phrase build it and they will come yeah not true no I don't just expect if i'm producing something brilliant well the listeners will find no. me they won't i mean if you think about this podcast we do a lot of different things to promote this mm. so we clip it up and put it across all Clip social platforms. Clip We've got optimized up. versions on to go on TikTok Clip and Instagram Reels. Up. We share it to our weekly email newsletter. We do a competition to get people to listen to this who can win a bottle of wine on the Friday Club, which is our weekly email newsletter. We talk about it in person with people who we meet. Mm. We, we strategically have clips going out each week in the form of Nolton Nuggets so that we have more downloads, so that we get in the charts more. There's just all these things we do. Don't let that put you off. Remember what we said? No, it doesn't have to be perfect to start. This is um, us now two years on. Yeah, two years on, we've worked out all these things. But um, at first, we were only clipping it up and putting it on social. Yeah. So don't let it put you off with saying all this mm. stuff to promote it. We only need to do that because we're trying to scale this and scale the positive effects mm. two years down the line. But um, yeah, like Dan said, that promotion, once you're, you're in the swing of things and you're like, mm. I know what I'm doing with this podcast. You can literally start using the microphone on your apple ipod yeah. or pair of headphones and yeah. using a tool like anchor yeah um as a starting I, point yeah I, I won't mention names but i know in the marketing podcast charts for the uk i know of two that are or at least were just recorded on a phone that were yeah. in the top 10 yeah. um so don't be don't think that you can't do really well with that level of production and an interesting point I, w I did a talk recently and there was a lady there forgotten her name damn it um janice janice but she said uh, a really interesting tip which was do enough to make sure the audio isn't annoying as a base level yeah because if it's like or like it sounds annoying people just won't listen so it doesn't have to be you know really good like this but just not like yeah yeah and that that will that will mean that it's not having a negative effect. People won't mm. be put off and won't be like, I'm not listening to that. And yeah. that's the base you need to get started. Yeah. 
Cool. Well, hopefully this episode has been useful. I'm also, just as a final point, in the Friday Club, which I mentioned our weekly email newsletter, I'm going to be updating our journey of how the, our podcast downloads to 100,000, This as I, which is our goal this year ago, mm. and what we're learning, the mistakes we're making, and things that are working and aren't working. So if you want to know that, then sign up to the Friday Club. Just search the Friday Club. Or then- Let us know if you've got any questions that you want answered, if you're considering starting a podcast and that sort of thing. Um, ask us, because we want to help. We've got a podcast studio that can record podcasts as well if you want to record your podcast All here. Right, we can yeah. do it for you. He's being a salesman now, oh, isn't he? Okay. But yeah, obviously we have a studio and that's a service we can provide. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, so look forward to seeing you in your ears next week. And book our studio session to record your <laughs> podcast. See you in your ears next week. Bye now. <laughs>